just out in our sort of few senses up really. Um, wet. Oh, can't see it now. It's pissing down anyway. Um, just fix the one at the tippity top on that cable goes to. All that fucking thing was, I've been playing the whole time about it, sensor, well, sensor at the top, plug there, and then there's another plug just down below there. Bloody plug was dodgy. Bit of fucking contact cleaner, sort that one out. And I've got a little bit of an issue back here. I can see it. Where's it to? There's a wire broken. There. Which does left hand bell sensor, basically. On that side still works, so it's been fine, but it's just been, yeah. Well, there hasn't actually been a problem at all. It's just when you turn the box on, it tells you that this sensor's not working. It knows the difference between not working and not sensing too, which is kind of cool. Which is like why well, that one was being a big pain because it would sort of sense it was working, then not working, then beep up, beep up again. But yeah, also I never even bothered rejoining the wires because the spring broke. Got a new spring now. So we can sort that out. Um, yeah, not really. Oh, well, I haven't had to buy a sensor at all. It's just wires on this one and a connection on the other one. Which, to be fair, that big thing's five years older than this. And um, apart from adjusting sensors and wires, eh, I'm not even sure if I've had a wire go for a sensor yet on that one. Um, apart from the wires in the bloody cab of the rat ad, but... Yeah, no, I've never had a sensor on that thing, so that's why I wasn't too bothered about this one, because this is sensors galore. There's one. There'll be another one on the other side. Where is it? There. Um, sensor, sensor. They're just sensors everywhere, really. Um, yeah. No, basically all just little basic magnet sensors, so that'll just sense metal. This little roller will come along here, and it'll know that the uh, they're up to move the satellites a bit more finish wrapping um the only ones that aren't are the little potentiometers that are in there i know it needs a clean out um i was doing silage last night at, well got back at about half past midnight and haven't quite had a chance to clean it off yet but yeah just gotta replace that spring and rejoin the wires and then hopefully when i turn the box on fingers crossed there will be no errors rejoined new spring and a real good feature on these chrome balers is if you go in the diagnostic setting in the menu, when you activate the sensor, the box will beep, which is fucking handy, especially when you're trying to diagnose that. You don't have to have someone sat in the cab. You can just come out here, do it, listen. You know, it works. Fucking brilliant. There you go. This is the one we just done. Um... Yeah, if it isn't sensing, it won't beep. But you sort of know if it's broken, this bar will be beyond the limit. Like that, see? Sensor off, sensor on, off. Uh, that's left and right. Oh, door open, door closed. Well, oh, yeah, that's both shut. Uh, that's the potentiometer for left and right. See why it's different. Back to normal sensors. That's the one that was at the top. Oh, he was beeping earlier. But yeah, uh, where he was sensing earlier, he was beeping. When he was broke, he was up beyond. That's why, because I ran it to tip that. So it's no stopping a spot where it isn't sensing. Because that one, there's a roller in there, like the one we did the other day, with all the holes. A bit similar to the brake wheel. He's got a sensor with a load of holes. And it senses the spokes as they come by. Well, there's an example. It looks like that. And it just like senses like on off, on off, on off. And it senses the speed then. And that one does for, if the belt starts slipping, it basically tells you the belt starts slipping. Um, that is what that one's for. And hopefully if we turn off, turn back on, For the first time ever, there's no errors. Look, no error. Oh, brilliant. Um, yeah, and if you head down into the menu, Baylor's making noises. Yeah, that's the diagnostic menu. 
Ta-da. Um, there's shitloads in it, really. Um, that one, I think, is due with the valves. Fucking God knows what some of them are. Yeah, but um, something like that, I think. Um, yeah. Then there's some question marks. Not sure. <laughs> That one's manual operation, but that will override if you've got a sensor. What did I have the other day? I had a sensor playing up somewhere, and it wouldn't read that the... Oh, that was it. The door wasn't fully open. Um, one time I had a load of crappy hay, and the door wouldn't quite. The sensor in the corner, there's a sensor just down there and an arm. One day I had a load of hay stuck in it. Another day I had a branch go in there and bend it, so I had to bend it back. Um, and when the hay was in it, I couldn't work out what it was. I could come into here and transfer the bell while I was trying to figure out the normal menu doesn't have that. Basically, that will allow you to transfer the bell, use the kicker arm when the door isn't fully open, like the picture, instead of showing a fully open, like fully, fully up here, it would show like a half open, similar to that. And it wouldn't work and eventually I had to figure that one out which I also used the menu thing to figure out which is handy um yeah there is also same as the forager there is a secret menu if you add all those numbers together then you'll get like another whatever it is quick maths uh 19 22 28 if you put 28 in there um, it will unlock you a load of other menus, but I'm not going to do that because it's not so easy on this one. Whereas the forager sort of tells you what everything is that you're playing with. Um, not that I've really played with much in that. Um, yeah, that's your manual operation. Your normal one hasn't got the exclamation mark. Yeah, bell counter, bell settings, screen, do your brightness. Um, and then your normal settings for baler, set bell size, go that five foot, still on four. The net, how much net you apply? Three layers at a minute, because I've got some new net and it's a bit thin and meh. Um, not quite so good as the normal crone stuff, I wouldn't say. That is your sensitivity for left and right fill. Um, that's to be your alarm, I believe. That is plus and minus a bit, maybe. Not 100% sure. That would probably be time delay uh, for net applying, I think, when you're in auto mode. And then wrapper settings. Layers of wrap. And go. For some reason, even though two is like basically there, Ah, I might actually know why. It doesn't normally let you go to two, but it might be. Because I've got one layer removed. That you can add in minus layers, basically, other way. Oh, yeah, normally on six layers. No, when do you go to two layers? Don't know why. You can do four, six, eight, ten. If you really want to go extra keen. Let's say you can just come down into this one and you can add a bunch. If you wanted to go fucking stupid amounts, add an extra 10 turns. Um, or you can minus 10 turns, which would basically turn it into not wrapping, I guess. Because about 10 or 11 turns on six layers anyway. Um, that one will change you from... That is, as soon as the net finishes, door opens, transfers onto wrapping table, starts wrapping... That one, you have to press that button for it to transfer, but then it will automatically start wrapping as soon as the bell's on the table. That is same again, but it doesn't wrap. And that one is same as the first one, but it doesn't wrap, basically. And there's also your manual drop. You can have auto drop if you're really brave. Um, and also, if you head back into here and turn the wrapper off, come back out, and you can do double bell drop, where it will, once you start netting, when there's a bell on the back, 
as soon as you press the button to net or the automatic starts to net, it would drop the bell it's got, put the table into receive, receive the bell, and then drop it straight away. So you're leaving them in pairs, but again, if you're on a hill, it's a bit dodgy. Um, size of rolls, you can go down to the little baby rolls or the normal rolls. And that is to do with your net break. Um, that won't do anything if, uh, not net, wrap. If your wrap breaks, it will just carry on like nothing's happened. Um, that one will stop as soon as it detects a break. And that one will change it to half speed. But I found at half speed, it doesn't turn the bell very quick for some reason. It's sort of literally, it's sort of like turning the bell over three times to give you your six layers with your two satellites. It will just turn the bell really, 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 really slowly. No idea why. Um, yeah. And then you end up with like one roll of run up for the other one. It's just meh. So it's easier to just get out and do it because you've got to get out and do it at some point anyway. So you might as well do it when it's broke basically um yeah good few settings uh, it's all just fucking simple really nice easy box to use yeah lovely job good bailer i think that's sort of everything that was broken um i don't think of anything else but yeah just just very glad now that i have no errors hopefully i've still got no errors anyway Normally it's just buzzing at me. Look, brilliant. Fixed. Spot on. Didn't even have to buy any sensors. I had to buy a tiny spring and that was it. Brilliant. <laughs>